This method can help answer key questions in the field of soft matter, such as the correlation between macroscopic and microscopic responses. The main advantage of the method is it can quantify the viscoelastic property of materials throughout areological experiments, in contrast to the traditional methods that provide average information. So this method can provide insight into polymeric materials. It can also be applied to other systems, such as colloidal gels and glasses and biological materials. Work with a rheometer that can perform stain-controlled measurements. First, attach the upper and lower drive geometries. For the lower fixture, use a 50 mm plate. Use a 2 degree cone for the upper fixture. Next, zero the gap, calibrate the measurements, and set the temperature. Once these steps are completed, open the gap in the geometries from zero to allow loading the material to be tested. Move on to get the material for testing. In this case, it is polyethylene oxide in DMSO, with red dye for demonstration. With a spatula, load the material onto the top of the bottom geometry. Ensure that no air bubbles are entrained in the sample in the rheometer. Work with the measuring system set to trim gap. Use a square-ended spatula at the end of the geometry to gently trim excess material. Return to the measurement gap before continuing.